In this video, we will explain the different lighting options available in Maxwell Render. We will cover SkyDome, Physical Sky, Image Based Lighting, and Emitters. Run ArchiCAD and open the sample scene. Select Camera 1 for a close up shoot. Open the Photo Rendering Settings panel in the Document menu to select Maxwell as the rendering engine. Set the render time to 1 minute. The Maxwell Environment tab contains the environment settings. Choose Sky Dome to create a lighting dome around your scene. You can adjust the light intensity and the color of the dome light. The dome color is taken from the Internal Rendering Engine panel. Use the color picker to choose a color for the dome. Render the scene by hitting the Photo Rendering Projection button. Your scene is exported to the MXS format, Maxwell Scene Format, and is automatically launched to be rendered with Maxwell. Sky Dome provides a nice and smooth lighting with soft shadows. Rendering will continue until the set render time is up or until the desired sampling level is reached. The sampling level, SL, is a measure of noise in the scene. The higher the SL, the cleaner your image. You can also stop the render manually by hitting the stop button. Another interesting lighting option is image-based lighting. It uses high dynamic range images, HDRI, to render your scenes. You can use the same image for background, illumination, reflection and refraction, or a different image for each. Enable the illumination checkbox and browse the HDRI file provided with this video. You can adjust the intensity of the environment light and set the position and tiling of the map. Render the scene. High dynamic range images capture the lighting conditions of the place they were shot and can then be used to light your 3D scene with the same lighting conditions. HDR images are a good option when you want to mimic real lighting in your scene. Now we are going to explore the physical sky environment. Back in the Maxwell panel, disable the image based lighting options and enable the physical sky. You can use ArchiCAD's sun position or enter your own location and time settings. You can control the physical sky extensively by adjusting the various atmosphere conditions. The ArchiCAD sun position is set in the 3D projection settings panel. You can choose your location from a list of city presets or use specific latitude and longitude values. Set the date and time and the ground orientation. You can also set the sun altitude and azimuth if you like. Render the scene. The physical sky allows you to create very realistic and natural illumination, while it is intuitive and easy to set up. Let's talk about emitters. 
In the Maxwell Vendor panel, choose the No Environment option. The scene contains three planes that we will use as emitters. In real life, all light sources have a certain surface, so in Maxwell Vendor the emitters are actual geometric objects with an emitting material. Open the Materials panel and choose a white material preset. Duplicate it and name it Maxwell Emitter 1 and set it as a Maxwell material in the Create drop-down. Now it is a physically correct Maxwell material with its own Maxwell parameters. It is also possible to import a ready-made material from the MXM gallery. From the material types, choose Emitter. As with real lamps, you can set the light intensity in watts. Use the Kelvin scale to adjust the light color. Duplicate the material and name it Maxwell Emitter 2 to create another emitter. In this case, choose a real lamp preset from the presets drop-down. This will automatically set the intensity and color to match a real lamp. Use the Object Selection window to assign the emitter materials to two planes. Turn its visibility on. A simple plane is enough in most cases as an emitter object. Render the scene. Remember that you can always adjust the image exposure if you find it too dark or too bright by adjusting the camera film ISO and shutter speed. When the render is stopped, you can visualize the changes in the main window by hitting the refresh button. Let's explore the multi-light feature in Maxwell Render. Open the Maxwell panel and tick the multi-light checkbox. Hit photo rendering projection to render the scene. After enabling multi-light, you will see some sliders in the multi-light tab. The first and second slider are for film ISO and shutter speed adjustments. The other sliders control the intensity of each individual emitter. When multi-light is on, the contribution of each light is stored separately, allowing you to adjust your lighting setup interactively without having to relaunch the render every time. This saves precious time. Open the Photo Rendering Settings panel again and enable the Physical Sky Environment. In the Maxwell Camera Settings, set a low value for f-stop, like 2. Use the Top View and the Arrow tools to adjust the camera target. The target indicates the part of the scene that will appear in focus. Render the scene.
As you can see, Multilight has created an additional slider to control the physical sky light intensity. As with real cameras, the f-cell parameter controls not only the exposure, but also the depth of field, DOF, or thickness of the in-focus area. The lower the f-stop value, the thinner the in-focus area. Low values like 2 produce images where only the target object is in focus, while the surrounding objects appear blurred. Now let's talk about animation. In the Maxwell panel, enable Export MXS only. This way Maxwell will export all the frames in your scene to a collection of MXS files, but they won't be launched automatically for rendering. In the Maxwell Animation tab, enable Append Frame Number to add the frame number as a suffix in the MXS files. RGCAD allows you to create a fly-through animation using the Create Fly-Through tool. Set it to be displayed in the Photo Rendering window and adjust the output settings. RGCAD now creates an animation by moving the camera around your scene. Pick the frame range from the fly-through animation to automatically set the frame range to be rendered. All the frames are then exported to MXS files, one MXS per frame, to be rendered in Maxwell as independent images. You will see that your frames are automatically rendered one by one in Maxwell Render. You can use the Maxwell Network system to distribute the MXS files in a render farm for a big animation job. All the frames are rendered up to the same set render time or until they reach the specified sampling level. In animations, your frames should all display the same quality and noise level, so set a desired sampling level like 14 and set a long render time like 1000 minutes to ensure the desired SL is reached first.